please use star code Aquila when buying Robux or Premium. These are all of my social media accounts. Enjoy the video! Hi everyone, it's Aquila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'll be giving you a tour of my filming set plot. And a lot of these locations might look very familiar if you've been keeping up with my videos. So I really hope you enjoy watching. And with that being said, let's get started. So the first set we're going to take a look at is the Little Stars Gymnastics Center. So out front, we obviously have the parking lot. And if you watch the videos that had this build featured in it, you know that we parked our um, van right here. And this is where we drop Livy off and then we take her inside. So we have this sign right there. There's also a sign up there at the top. We have the front door with the welcome mat. And then when you finally get inside, we have the area where you can come and check in. And there's also a few clothing pieces for sale. There's also a cooler if you need some drinks. And this is just a table where the kids can sit down and do their work or have a snack. These chairs are for the parents or guardians to observe the class that's going on. And this part of the build actually wasn't featured in the video, but we have a restroom. <laughs> It's pretty basic, but it was really just here in case anyone needed to get their moods up. And then if we had over here, I wouldn't consider this a locker room because it is in the center of the waiting room and the gym area. This is just more like a storage area where the kiddos can come in and put their stuff in the cubbies. And if they have any jackets or stuff that they wanna leave on the racks, then they can definitely do that too. And over here, there's a little lost and found bin because they're always leaving stuff behind. But if you want to get changed, I would definitely recommend heading to the restroom. And then the final room is the gym itself. And I really love the lighting in here because I decided to use the glass roof. And I think that was a smart decision. But we have two beams, a trampoline, a kit bar with some mats underneath. And then we have the floor and some tumbling equipment. This gym is obviously meant for toddlers and small children it's nothing crazy it's not a big gym and that is the little stars gymnastics center so now let's move on to set number two so we finally made it to set number two and this one will look familiar if you watched the video where Grandma Annie is in the hospital. Yes, this is the hospital build. I was not gonna build an entire hospital for that clip. Um, so that's why I find it way easier to just build little sets like this, but a little behind the scenes, this door leads to nothing. This door leads to the little kitchen area, but I did put that in the video. But we have a cabinet and there's also a sink, some counters, some basic appliances, and there's a few lunch bags as well. You might notice that outside most of the windows, there's always this high fence. And that's because, again, this is a filming set. So I don't want the other filming sets to be visible during the clip. Of course, we have like a little waiting area. And then there's some vending machines across from the chairs. I'm really proud of how this hospital room turned out. I did build my very own custom hospital bed. On top of the bed, we have a teddy bear, the TV remote, a food tray, some blankets, and a book. Right in front of the bed, we have the TV. And then to the left, there's a monitor and a fire extinguisher. And just to make this space more efficient, I have the computer and paperwork on top of the dresser to kind of act like a desk. Then we have two chairs over here along with the tissue box. And this is where August and I were sitting during the video. And we can't forget about the presents that we brought her. But over here, as you can see, I have a chair so you're able to just sit up in the hospital bed but yeah these custom shapes are really helpful when you want to make something that's not already in game but maybe one day we can actually get a real hospital update in Bloxburg. that would be really cool and that is everything for this filming set so now we can move on over to set number three here we are at set number three and this is where I filmed the video where I got all of my Bloxburg skills 
maxed out and it was so much fun but we have like the little gardening area here's a closer look at it and then if we go inside here's an overview of this little room i'm not gonna spend too much time in here because it's pretty self-explanatory and i did spend that entire video here so you couldn't have missed anything but obviously i got my athletic skill up over here cooking skill up here in the kitchen and these are all of the trophies that i received and that's pretty much it for set number three i mean it's nothing too crazy so i guess we can move over to set number four this is set number four yes the golden arches this is my mcdonald's build and i guess you could say i'm loving it no pun intended but we have this little parking area over here and it's it's not functional you cannot fit a car here it's just kind of there for decoration because if you watch the video that this build was featured in all we did was go through this drive through area but you never saw the inside so you guys can get to see the inside today but beware it's really nothing special it was just so that when we were driving around um it didn't look empty on the inside you know what i mean my friend froggy did help with the interior again it's nothing crazy but we have a spill over here so there's obviously a cone so all the customers know to watch out but somebody needs to come and clean it up and then we have the tables and chairs he did make these custom happy meal boxes which are so adorable i'm obsessed with them and then over here of course we have the registers and the menu where you can order your food so that's pretty much it but behind this door we have the kitchen again i kind of just threw some things down in here so it didn't look empty as we drove by because i really like to pay attention to detail when it comes to stuff like that and it really would have drove me crazy if it was empty on the inside but i guess i can give you guys another little behind the scenes secret this build was featured in the big family's busy last day of school routine and originally we were supposed to go inside this build and i was supposed to build like a play set you know we were actually supposed to eat here and stuff but i thought the idea of going through the drive through would be so much more funnier because everyone was just shouting out their orders and i really love how that scene turned out so now we can head over here and this is where it all went down so of course this is where you can put in your orders and the car does not fit i had to do a lot of work behind the scenes and we had to readjust the car so much and we had to get in and get back out and reset the car and there was just a lot that went into it and then over here this is where we picked up our order and from that point on we just drove straight and i'm pretty sure it was just a new scene after that because we could not maneuver the car in this drive through so that's it for set number four and now we can move over to set number five we are here at set number five which is the collins ice cream truck so over here this is where we park our vehicle and we still have some storage boxes and this truck build is actually by yummy cookie of course i stand by their build but it's so cute so um of course i had to add my own little spin onto it and i think it turned out really nice like the actual um welcome to blocksburg license plate i think that was really smart and i of course added a custom sign on the top and our own menu as well you guys did get a full tour of this build actually but just another overlook so we have our own seating area and there's also a picnic basket in the center here's another look at our truck We also have a trash bin and a recycling bin over here. And this is what the inside of the truck looks like. So we obviously have these big back doors so we can take stuff like our storage boxes into the truck. But we also have this door on the side for easier access. That's it for set number five. And now we can move on to set number six. You would only recognize this set if you watched Layla and Adrian's college routine and if you have a really good 
eye. This is actually the background where the principal, aka me in a disguise, was sitting during the informative video that the professor was playing for the class. If you thought I built an entire university, then you're wrong. I simply did not feel like building a whole campus so again i just think building sets as you need them is just a way more convenient way to get things done but we have these two lights on the side just for better lighting because without them it's just really dark and kind of spooky looking. Okay, everyone. Well, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and getting a behind the scenes look. If you did, please feel free to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. You, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long. Always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong